have cooked and eaten in the upper half of the room. Hmm. And if you've ever been at Scarabri, you'll see there isn't an awful lot of difference between that and here. The hearth in the middle of the floor, just the same. The bed at the side with upright stones. Nooks in the wall. And this would have replaced an earlier stone shell dresser. Just the same as at Scarabri. So not a lot of difference on 5,000 years old. They were very self-sufficient. They, they would have had, even a hundred years ago, Fog would have had all the, the produce they needed on the farm. The, the only thing that would have been bought in would have been things like sugar and tea and a loaf and bread like that would have been bought because you didn't have an oven on a fire like this. It's called a skep, and you could winnow that, that would catch the grain and uh, chops like that. Maybe de, de husk and bear, you may have done it in that as well. But uh, a long time ago, the people was, was using that. With a back attached. So that was the original Orkney chair, and then as time went on, they think about the middle of the 1700s, they, in North Ronaldsea, they started putting a back on a box, and that made it stronger, and it saved a bit of time. So that's how the Orkney chair as we know it today has really evolved.